Okay, before I quit, I'm gonna do a little show and tell with my little Northern Arms Sidewinder 22 Magnum. And what makes it the Sidewinder is that the, this chamber flips out. Whereas on the other models, you have to pull this pin out and then the chamber falls out in your hand. And then you're standing there with the, cha with the gun and the chamber and the pin in your hand and having to try to reload it, which makes it very easy to drop some part of the gun. And I almost dropped a pin in the lake one time on one I had years ago. So that's kind of one reason why if I ever got another one, I wanted this one. And this is a fairly new thing, this roll out chamber. But there's a couple things you need to know about it. One, when you go to, when you go to open it, the way you open it is you pull out, see how that moved on that pin, and then you push that, and it rolls right out. Second thing you need to know, you'll notice when you push on the end of this, the bullet comes right out. However, if you have a bullet over here, and you push on that, that bullet is going to be hitting, hitting that part of the gun right there. And you'll be pushing and pushing on it and it's not coming out and you'll be thinking well what is wrong with this thing now there is a notch in the back of this gun right there if you look at how and i'm not talking about the chamber i'm talking about the gun itself if you look at the, how the gun is made you see this little notch right literally right there if you line up one bullet in this with that and you push that and make sure you have your chamber your uh, revolver all the way out and you push that it clears that spot because of that notch but if it's not lined up with that notch it won't clear so that's important to get your spent bullets out of it once you figure that out it's fairly easy then when you go to close it again you kind of push that too, but then you come up here and you put your thumb on that, give that a click, she's closed. And she's ready to shoot again, or would be if you'd loaded it up. So I'm gonna do that one more time. I pull that out and I press that, bring this out. I don't have spent bullets in there, but we'll just pretend I got five spent bullets and I got one facing right there. I push that and that ejects that bullet. And then when you close it and put it back, Put your thumb right on this, press that, she's ready to go again. So, having done that, I'll talk about my bullets. I went out with a set of 30 or 40 year old Magnum shells that were still in a box that hadn't even been opened yet. The first one I took out and fired was a dud. And I guess it's probably because they've been in there so long. So then after that, they all worked fine. And actually, when the revolver came around and hit that one the second time, it did fire too. My old ones were hollow points and they had a tiny little hole in the end. These are the newer hollow points, I guess, and they have a lot bigger hole in the end, which I think is a good thing. I think it would make that a more effective bullet when it hits something. So, <clears throat> five shells into these. And close her back up. He's ready to go. Now, I like this little gun. Um, it is, uh, it's right handy. It's very light. You put it in your pocket. You don't even feel it. Um, I should say you don't even feel it. It takes up about as much space in your pocket as a, as a pocket knife. I've got another gun that might even be a little lighter, but that gun is bigger and it's just awkward in your pocket. That's a very comfortable gun to have in your pocket. And it seems to have a pretty good little bullet. You know, when you shoot it, you can feel a little power coming out of the end of it. So, totally like that. That was my birthday present from my honey baby. Thank you, honey baby. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. See y'all.